So here we are, I'm in the picture. I'm getting the webcam right now, number 69. Okay, we're in Clemson University and it's time to get three webcams in one day. But there's a trick to this one. We're actually gonna get seven webcam images all in one day. Hey, let's see how. Here we are at center stage for another webcam. Yeah, this is five Clemson cams, and it's unique because... There's five webcams. Yeah, and we're going to do something unusual. We're going to get all... Five uh, webcams. Yeah, you're only required <laughs> to get one of the five here, but I thought it would be cool to get all five because they're not that far apart. So we're going to tour around campus yep. and get them all. And while we're touring around, London Westy at home is going to show you how he found all of these using satellite views, street views, and the webcams. Well, thanks, Dave. It was a lot of fun doing this webcam. I really, really enjoyed it. Because it involved the Google Maps, as you said, and street views uh, and satellite view. And I would love to show everybody uh, what, uh, what it took. So on this one, we can see on the map here, the first cache that we did was the, uh, say, Tiger Cheese. This was a, uh, a webcam cache. It was fairly simple to do. If you zoom in on, uh, on the map, you can see it's at the edge of a parking lot. And if I change to satellite view, uh, you can get a kind of an idea of where, where to stand. And we actually didn't stand right on the happy face where it's listed here. We're actually standing off on a, above the, um, the oval next to the parking lot. That's where we found that the image was best to stand at. Now, if we go over to uh, the five uh, Clemson webcams cache, as you noted, uh, there's actually five webcams to choose from, from that webcam. And uh, the trick was to try to find where they were. So if we clicked on it, um, you come up to the, the web page, and uh, you scroll down and it gives you the fact, yes, that it's five webcams. You only have to pick one uh, of the images to go to. But I thought it would be fun if uh, we picked all of them and went to them all. Or at least at the, when I first started investigating, I wanted to know where were they. So at least um, um, I was paying attention from my four years ago at the Mississippi webcam, um, going to that one and not doing it right. Uh, I wanted to know exactly what we needed to do. I, I read the cache page top to bottom. I knew what we were in for. And then I wanted to find where each of the webcams were. And if you click on the link, uh, it will take you to that webcam and you can see uh, what's involved in that. So, and then you have to try to find this location. What I uh, noted first was uh, center stage. So I thought this image here, if you look at the image, has a uh, the sun or the star shape uh, in kind of an amphitheater with a water pool in behind and a building and a white building. So I thought that would be fairly easy to find. So I went to uh, Google Maps, went to uh, Clemson University, and if you go to satellite, so down in the left corner you can click on satellite, and then you can start zooming in. The web cam listing this up over here where the 93 is. That's where the coordinates are posted, but it says that's not where the webcams are. So I've started to look on the images and you start to scroll in and you can start to see a little bit more detail. And this is what I noticed right here is the reflection pond. If you go back to the cam uh, web page, this the reflecting pool is right there, is the webcam number four. So I know well, one of them is right there. So then I notice the shape right here. There's the star. And one thing that I like to do is also, um, if you hit control and then move your mouse, now you can start to move around as if you're kind of like on a drone. So then if I turn the map around, I can come down and I can look. And if you take a look at uh, this image on the satellite view, and compare it with the image and that I'll put right here in the top corner, um, the webcam image. So you can see um, that's where you need to stand. So we needed, we, we knew we needed to stand there. And um, the first webcam we did was right here and we parked in this parking lot so we could get this webcam and then walk over to the uh, amphitheater. So once we got to the amphitheater, then uh, 
the, one of the next ones was, of course, the reflecting pool. If we look at the reflecting pool image, you can see this structure at the back of the uh, waiting pool is these columns with kind of lines. And if you go back to Google Maps, you'll notice um, that this amphitheater with the star or the sun has these columns. And, and if you turn this around, there you can have kind of a view of what the reflecting pool webcam is showing you. So there we go. We're almost exactly on to the position of that webcam. So then uh, from there we just start uh, looking so we can zoom back out and zoom up. Okay so we have one location we need to stand right there at the star and a second location we found out we need to stand on this little uh, there's a walking bridge. It's elevated up above uh, the pavement down here so we needed to go uh, up these steps onto the walking bridge right there and then uh, face towards the corner of this building here and then uh, we wanted so we have two we have two locations um, we needed to find the others so we did a I did a quick search and actually what I did was I did a Google search or I, I searched on the map for Cox Plaza so, uh, so I zoomed in on, uh, zoom out, and you can see right here there's these squares. If you look at um, the image for the webcam, so Cox Plaza, there you have these squares and two columns with white caps. So if I go in here and I zoom out like this, there you go, you have a very similar image to what you see on Google Maps here. So you have a, the, red, the white squares and the red background with two columns with white caps. So that's the third webcam. And then uh, the next one is Military Heritage Plaza. This one, if you zoom in this way, there is the Military Heritage Plaza. It has all these little dots on it, a couple of long rows, a couple of columns. If you go back and look at the uh, webcam, uh, Military Plaza, there you go. There's the little black dots, two columns, there's a long white bar, same as right here, long white bar, black dots, two columns, okay? The, the last webcam that we did is actually over here, it's called Bowman Field. If you go to the webcam for Bowman Field, um, what you'll see is this uh, X on the pavement. So there's a, a box with an X on the pavement. but when you try to find that image, it doesn't show up right now anyway. When I was doing the research, what I saw was this tiger paw. So I said, well, it can't be there. Uh, it had to be somewhere else. So I searched and searched and searched through the map. I'm scrolling around. I'm doing this, doing that. And I could not find that spot. So um, what I had to do was um, look at the image ignore this part here and I looked at uh, the building back here and the way that the road went and I thought it was this right here because of the curve of the pathway but I, I, you couldn't get the buildings to match up so I, I surfed over here uh, I ignored the paw print and if you come down at an angle come right down about here this building right in the back matches this right here and then the pathway actually there's a road here on this one there's no road but what they had done was change um, uh, there was a construction at the time but this um, uh, the Google map image is not updated to what's actually there right now. So that really got me going. But there you go. That's in a nutshell, um, basically how to locate places. Just take the visual cues that you see within the image and try to extrapolate that to a satellite view and a an, uh, Google Earth view flying around like you're on a drone. And you can find the spots just like that. So let's go back to the Going South crew and the five Clemson webcams.
Next up is? The reflecting pool webcam. Yes. So how did you find this webcam? It was actually quite easy because you could see the image of the center stage in behind us over the reflecting pool. Mm. Yeah. And it was just a matter of zooming around and Google Earth actually does a really good job. You can zoom around like you're on a drone. Yeah, it's really cool. Mm, very yeah. interesting. Yeah. It was nice to see when you found all the webcams that they were actually all pretty close together. That it was kind of like in a circuit, so we weren't going to have to go way across the campus and many different locations. They were pretty close together, easy to get to, and that's when I decided we're going to do all five. So we got the location of this one right. This is Cox Plaza, and we can tell that in the image right here. There's a plaque, actually says Union Plaza but it says Walter Cox Jr. on the plaque. And Google Maps confirms this as, as Cox Plaza, but all of the trees here that are in the image here, there are no leaves, but in the image, there are lots of leaves. So we're saying this webcam is frozen at the moment. So that's a good thing, there's five, but we got uh, three locations so far, and we got the next one's just coming up, is Military Plaza. Well, you can tell it's Military Plaza. You can see all the medals up on the wall, and there's cannons over on this side. Yes, this one was fairly easy to find. It's so obvious by looking at the squares and the pillars from the image and the satellite image where it actually was. So that was kind of nice, and this one is working. So that's uh, one more to go. Up on the wall, there is inscriptions of all the different wars they've participated in. And if you look down below, there's all these footprints of the different cadets that graduated here. <laughs> you're not in the, you're not in the. I thought we were doing seven webcam photos. This one was the hardest one to find of all. On the satellite images, there's a paw print. Yep. Not right, now. Yeah, right in front of us, it's a big X. Is that it? Nope. We have one more webcam to find, but it's not here. Where is it? It's in North Carolina. Ooh, okay, we better get going. Or Tennessee, I can't remember. <laughs> we'll get us there. The webcam that we saw it was actually in North Carolina. It was Catamount Cash Cam. And then for us, it was about a four or five hour drive when you stop for a few caches. So let's get up there to North Carolina and the last cam of the day. Right, those people that over there, See him standing right there. Oh. <laughs> he said no. There's one over there on that building. And now it's spinning. So I'll have to come I've back. I've clearly gone to the wrong web page. Okay. Live webcam. What under description do we, which do you press, Dave? This oh, site? This site, that's what I did. Oh, there we are, right there. We're walking. No? Yeah. That's not us. No? Oh, and I still yes, get it. it. No, uh, okay, we need to go. Where are those people walking? The big over group there? of people that were walking here. They were over there. Because I could see us, but we're, sh we're shielded by the trees. There we go. <laughs> it's like 30 seconds, and I just wait for it to show up. You gonna do something, babe? <laughs> yeah, it's because it's not like the guy's monitoring it anymore, right? Yeah. <laughs> Come on! Work it, work it, work it. <laughs> work it. Oh, there it is at the front door. It's at the front door. Oh, now we just gotta wait. Yep. See, it's delayed. We're not, it's not us yet. There you go, see, we're live. It's a live cam. Come on, come on. Make time pass faster. Okay. And I can take a, 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 an image from my video, because I'm recording this. You are? Yeah. Oh. I'm recording the video. There you go. Now your arm is up. Now my arm is up. Now Karen's two arms are up. We got the last one of the day. Yep. It was a long, winding road to get here. <laughs> and then it suddenly, boom, 
there's a university in the middle of the mountains. <laughs> and then it was a long winding path till we found out where we were supposed to stand yep. for the webcam. And it was pretty neat that it was actually a live feed webcam. It wasn't just a, an image every two minutes or every 10 minutes. It was a live feed. That was yep. really neat. Yeah. Well, we put our arms up in the air. There you go. There's three webcams in one day mm -hmm. and actually seven webcams done. Yep. Yeah. Keep watching. There's more <laughs> caches to be found. Yeah. Where will geocaching take you? Maybe a webcam. See ya.